Hello and welcome to another edition of the Nde Olital show. It's good to have you here back in the studio with me. And today, we're going to talk about honey, baby. We're going to talk about honey and a lot of other good stuff. I have a very, very good friend of mine here who's an exceptional lady who's doing so much um, in the Gambia right now at the moment, who's um, contributing to a lot of amazing things as well. And I cannot wait for you guys to meet her. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to our studios. Like I told you before we went on that short break, I have a phenomenal lady here with me, Miss Annie Lusai. Annie, welcome to the Nde Odetal Show. Thanks for meeting me. Thank you, Nde This is amazing. By the way, I haven't seen you in 12 years <laughs> or yes. something. How did we manage that? We're in the same country. Uh, I guess we're all busy. We're all very, very busy. We don't even have time for each other. Yes. Yeah, but we're here today, and I'm so proud of you, and I'm happy you are here. Thank you. Okay, tell us a bit about you. Tell us who Annie Lusak is. Uh, <coughs> hello viewers. Uh, well, as she rightly said, my name is Annie Elizabeth Lusak. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a Gambian. I'm an Aku. Uh, I was born here as well. Uh, I did my schooling here, my university, and I'm working here. Yes, yeah. I said now I'm a teacher. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. So, Annie, tell us more about you as a young Aku girl in Gambia, <laughs> growing up here, going to school. She was a very clever woman. I remember yeah. you were a head girl before. <laughs> so tell us about you and those years and to now. Well, as I said, I did my school in here. Mm -hmm. uh, I started at the St. Teresa's mm -hmm. Lower Basic School, mm -hmm. then went to the Upper Basic, mm -hmm. and then went to Gambia Senior Secondary School. Mm -hmm. That's where we met. Yes. We were in the same class. <laughs> we were doing art <laughs> yeah. for three years. Yeah. Yes, and I completed my school in 2007. Mm -hmm. uh, later on, I worked for a year, mm -hmm. and then the next year, 2009, mm -hmm. I applied for the University of the Gambia. And I did four years development studies. Oh. So I have a degree in development studies, oh, bachelor's degree in wow. development studies, yes. Uh, from there, I went to serve as mm -hmm. a voluntary teacher okay. at Basse St. George's. Mm -hmm. I served there for a year with the VSO, mm -hmm. uh, VSO uh, MOPSI. Mm -hmm. MOPSI, that's Ministry of mm -hmm. Basic and Secondary, Secondary Education. Education mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. I, I was there for a year, mm -hmm. 2013 to 2014. Mm -hmm. Later on, I came back from the provinces wow. I came back because I was like, no, no, I have to come back <laughs> because here <laughs> in the city there are opportunities, although I love it there, yeah. but I just decided to come back and well, the teaching field followed me. Wow. So yes, uh, I also did two years with oh. Apple Tree oh, International yeah. School, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I taught history there for two years and then went to Sebec mm -hmm. and I've been there for four years now, almost four years. Wow. Yes. Did you see yourself being a teacher like years ago? <laughs> well, what did you think you were going to be doing? <laughs> well, actually, uh, when I was in grade nine, mm -hmm. yes, I had this passion for agriculture. Okay. Yes, I wanted to do agriculture and all, but you know, Gambian parents, my dad discouraged me. If I had a, a, a vegetable bed at the back of our, yes. of our compound. You could have. Yes. But these rats will eat them up, yes. the cabbages. And so mm -hmm. he just discouraged, no, no, you're a young lady. You want to go up, uh, you want to go up country. Yeah. You know, the men are there, you yeah. know, they'll yeah. misuse you. Uh -huh. So I was just discouraged. Oh. In fact, I went to university. I didn't know what to study. Mm. It was in my second year I decided to develop my studies. Oh, wow. Yes. So, of course, when we are asked in school, <laughs> do you I want know. to be a teacher? No, 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 I you know. don't want to be a teacher. <laughs> so I just saw myself there. And this is my seventh year. Now you yes. see what our teachers used to go through. Huh? Huh? <laughs> it was never easy. Yeah. It was never easy. Yeah. Tell yeah. me about your family setting. You seem to come from a very um, nice and, a, and a, loving, a loving home, a loving family. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Uh, well, I have siblings, mm -hmm. of course, but I'm the last ah. of girls. Wow. We're all girls, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in a nuclear family. Mm -hmm. My mom, my dad, myself, because ah. my older sisters were not around. Okay. So I was the last to chat. Ah, yes. spoiled? Okay. No, of course no. My no? dad, oh, uh. he was a military man. <laughs> in the house. So you were a mommy's girl. girl. Ah. Yes, I mommy's was a, girl. Yes, I was a, a mommy's girl. Ah. But oh, my dad, yeah. <laughs> he had to groom me, and <laughs> he would love me, you know, do everything. But that training, yes, yes. he must have. It's the important. Training, yes. 
it is important. I'm not regretting it now. Yeah. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. So <coughs> I'm gonna go back into this question and I'm gonna ask you. Mm -hmm. You seem to have um, gained and had relationship roles from a very, very early age, from being a, a top student, doing well, mm -hmm. even being a, a prefect, being a being a, 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 a head, head girl. girl and all that. Even being selected before to represent the school outside of the Gambia. I remember you went to Belgium or you yes. went to Brussels. Yes. You came back with a lot of candies. <laughs> and and we chocolates. Were, we were all your friends that day because <laughs> you came back with sweets. And chocolates. And chocolates, <laughs> I know, I remember, like yesterday. Mm -hmm. So tell me, at that age, how did you feel having those responsibilities on top of your head? And how is that helping you now forge, mm -hmm. to forge ahead? Mm -hmm. Well, the leadership role started mm -hmm. way back in, yes, it did. in junior school. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was a, a school prefect mm -hmm. in grade nine. Oh. I normally select you in grade nine, mm -hmm. grade eight and nine, but mm -hmm. I was in yes. grade nine. I applied and mm -hmm. I had a position. Mm -hmm. I went to Gambia Senior Secondary School too. Mm -hmm. In fact, with Gambia Senior Secondary School, there is no voting. No. It's the teachers that yes. select. Mm -hmm. So surprisingly, I was mm -hmm. select for 2006, 2007 academic year. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not an easy role because you have your mates, you know, I some know. of them will, you know, try to bring you down, yeah. mock you, mm -hmm. they will not encourage you, mm -hmm. you know, despise you. So it was really hard. Mm -hmm. And I was a shy type, even though I was leading, but I was always shy. You used to love to <laughs> sing. You used to love to sing. I still love to sing. We were the singers, right? <laughs> In the, the back of the class. <laughs> <laughs> you knew every song. Mm. <laughs> Those days. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind of groomed you to being, because right now you're leading a pack of mm. kids. kids. Like you have lots of children yes. to, to look after and be there for yes. us. So I guess that role um, prepared you yes, well. Of course, yes. We're going to go for our short break. When we come back, we get into the business of the day. Okay. It's all looking nice and sweet here. <laughs> so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more of Anil Sack. Thank you. Welcome back to the show, and I have uh, Miss Annie Lusak here with me. Annie Elizabeth Lusak, it's the right way. She yes. likes the <laughs> proper thing. So. Um, I still have her in the studio with me. We're going to talk about her business and what she's doing, what she's up to. Already we've talked about her background and what she's been doing. But before we get into the business of this, I just want to ask you, what um, kind of um, pushed you into getting mm -hmm. in this path as well apart from being a teacher what made you feel like you want to get a venture into business well initially it was not in my mind mm -hmm. yes i'm not a business type mm. yes uh, but last year i went to a catholic youth program mm -hmm. called i st teresa's okay. they had a, they have a christian group mm. so our own church group were invited mm -hmm. so we went to like support them mm -hmm. so it was a business sem seminar for young oh. people you know, to motivate them mm -hmm. to start something, any mm -hmm. type of business. Mm -hmm. So there were panel panelists. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of the panelists after the talk, Mr. Gabriel Gomez, he works with Gaipa. Okay. He also has a program or a project mm -hmm. called Gap Minds. Okay. Also helping Gambian oh. young people. Yes. Okay. Yes. So later on, he got up, and after his talk on mm -hmm. business and all mm -hmm. that, uh, he got up and asked, mm -hmm. "Who has a business plan?" Ah. Yes. Everybody was quiet. The whole, everybody, over 100 plus young people, everybody was quiet and still. Okay. They were shy. Yeah. Mm. At first, I was also shy, mm. but a friend of mine just pushed me. And they were, you have some business plan you've been telling me, why not just go and you tell know? him? Yes. So that's how I got up. Wow. I was shy, panicked, nervous. <laughs> oh. So I went, I talked. Uh, in fact, it was not even this. Okay. Yes, I had another plan okay. I was talking about. And, and surprisingly, he gave. Or street, oh sorry, he gave me three thousand dollars. Oh, but three thousand dollars, it's small, it's big. Yeah, you can, so, it's a good start. Eh? Yes, so three months later, uh, he, uh, he contacted me and then gave me mm -hmm. the money. Mm -hmm. uh, that was September last year. Yeah, 
So <laughs> I had so many, you know, thoughts, so many projects. Yeah. But most of them they didn't click. I mm -hmm. had to call him and talk to him. Mm -hmm. So most of them were not realistic. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So it was just this July. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I was watching TV uh -huh. <laughs> on a summer break uh -huh. with clothes closed. So yeah. I was watching TV and then uh, there was this program. If I was a cartoon. Cartoon. Uh, yes. <laughs> what bees, cartoon was it? Bees and I don't know. <laughs> Is the it name. the bees? Yeah. Bees <laughs> and humans. And then the, the bees took the humans to court. Yeah, you know, they the had bees, their the lawyer. bees movie. Yes, something like that. Yeah. Yes. So talking about how human beings are destroying the environment, yeah. you know, the 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 flora, oh. the fauna, etc. And they won. The bees won. Yeah. So <laughs> I was just oh, watching it. I'm not a nice cartoon story. fan though. <laughs> but I'm too big for cartoon. So I watched it and that's how the inspiration just came up. Oh wow. Just start up that business of honey. That's how it just came up. You owe it to just it like Disney that. or Pixar. One of them just made the movie. You owe it to that. <laughs> just like that. Oh, yeah. that's July, awesome. Yes. That's, that's and nice. And I had my lunch in September. Yes, yeah. I saw the pictures. Yeah. So um, tell us about the manifestation of it. Mm. From that, what happens next? Obviously, it's a process. You don't just get up and go. Mm, yes. What was it? And why now? Why now? Uh, well... The honey, mm -hmm. the three thousand dollars. See, I use the five hundred dollars to register. The other five hundred dollars for something else, mm -hmm. and then the two thousand dollars for what I bought the honey mm -hmm. it was exactly mm -hmm. this way. I just had to brand it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and since September twenty seventh, mm -hmm. September, October, November, and December, mm -hmm. it's been from one stage to another. Mm -hmm. Yes, from one height to another. I even had a contract recently I signed mm -hmm. with a global. Health, mm -hmm. innovate global yes, health. Yeah. They're about They're to open amazing. in a few weeks' time. Mm -hmm, yes. mm -hmm. So I had a contract with them oh, last month, good. two months ago. Congratulations. Yes. That's yeah. a brother, Ismail Abadi. Yes, he's doing yes, amazing. Yes, that's been, yes. You know, he's doing, we're very proud of him. Yeah. So, how do you, does the process go? Do you have like, a, like somebody, like a honey, like a keeper? that you go to or do you go and buy it and source it and package it? How do you do it? All I know, I know <laughs> that the, the packaging looks amazing. Yes. It's very modern yes. and clean. Yes. There's no, no. It, there's no yeah. next night. It's flipped yeah. and all that. Yes. Well, actually, I went around. Mm -hmm. you know, at first, I wanted to buy from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But my elder sister advised me, why not go mm -hmm. to a place whereby it's recommended? Right. Like exactly. an established place mm -hmm. whereby it will be you know, descent mm -hmm. and all, yes. Mm -hmm. So I went, mm -hmm. I had a place I visited, mm -hmm. and in fact, it's just like this. I just had to put my sticker. Oh, that's yes, awesome. Yes, because I had an option of a plastic, mm -hmm. and then the glass. the glass, yes. Mm -hmm. And I saw that the glass was more, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's more Civilized modern. Civilized yeah. and modern. It's and clean. Yeah, yeah. And it's better maintained. Yes. You can buy mm -hmm. it and use the jar yes, to later. do whatever yes, you want later, to do. Yes, yeah. And I see that the honey, it's a, it's a runny honey. It's nice. It was it's this forest. Honey? Yeah, honey, yeah. yeah, it's nice. So, honey, <laughs> what is it good for honey? I'm sure I know it has a lot of good health benefits. Yes. Was that one of the reasons why you also wanted to do yes, it? Yes, of course, yes. Normally, uh, as a business person, mm -hmm. in fact, I'm not a business, I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneur is someone who looks at the issues of human beings mm -hmm. or issues of people mm -hmm. and then try to solve it. Mm -hmm. It can be food, it can be hair, mm -hmm. it can be clothing, it depends. Yeah, right. Yes. That's true. So I looked at honey, I researched on it, mm -hmm. and I saw the honey was very important for health-wise, mm -hmm. for those that are people that are suffering with diabetes. In fact, if really? you are not even suffering with diabetes, yes, you can use it. But what about the sugar content? The sugar content is natural. Oh. It's not the one that is processed from like sugar cane. Yes, it's so good for your hair. I normally use it for my hair. Mm -hmm. It makes the volume, you know. Really? Increase, yes. I'm going to yes. slap it on. <laughs> you mix it with hair, oil, and egg. Oh. Egg, yeah. You mix it. Yeah. Really? Give it volume? And yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's also good for the skin. Mm -hmm. I'm also using the soap. Probably okay. as time goes on. Yeah, I'll come we, I was going to ask you I'm something. I'm also like using that. the cream as well. Okay. Yes. That's good. Yeah. So tell me, how do you balance the... <laughs> Being a teacher and this, since you have a, a handful <laughs> with you already. It's not easy at all because as of now, I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. I go buy my honey, it's heavy with the bottle, the glass. I, know, I can imagine. I have to come home, put the stickers on, you know, advertise it, yes. advertise it yeah. on social media, mm -hmm. on my WhatsApp status, mm -hmm. 
on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Most of my friends, sometimes mm -hmm. family members, they do support. Mm -hmm. Most people sometimes they will call me, keep five for me, keep two for me, mm -hmm. and then I have to go deliver it. And as do they well. keep their promises? Yes, of course. Because you know we yes, have these cousins, yeah. my co-workers, no, they've been awesome neighbors. Mm -hmm. In fact, some of them. Have, ah, you have this and you've never told us. Oh. You're very bad. Why not <laughs> you yeah. bring some for uh, us? For yes. Us, yes. Yeah. So how has the response been from people, social media? How are it's you? Been it's, it's been positive. It's been positive. Yes. From one week to another. Because so normally it, mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I purchase supply like every week. Mm -hmm. Yes, I pen it down mm -hmm. if you need to book. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I get it, call you and then deliver it. Sometimes so they come for it, sometimes. Sometimes they do, yeah. okay. So y you are kind of selling the products and advertising it mm -hmm. online? Yes. That's, that's your source of... Mm -hmm. So yes, if somebody so wanted to contact you to get the honeys and stuff, that's where they're mm -hmm. going to get yes. it? Yes, my number is on there. Is on it. Because yeah. you mentioned something just earlier about soap and lotions and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you think at some point you will venture into yes. doing yes. something else with the honey? Mm -hmm. Yes. On, during my luncheon, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Ivo Mendy, he was one of the people that organized that program I you went to about yes, last year. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he represented the, the man, Gabriel Gomez, okay. who gave me the money to start up the so, business. Yes. So he came up with a, like an idea mm -hmm. for uh, a cake, honey cake. Ah. Yes, making cake, the normal cake. Yeah. But instead of using the sugar, use honey. Yes, to use honey. It. Yes, yeah. especially for those with diabetes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they go to weddings, they go to yeah, parties, they, they cannot can eat. eat. Yeah. Yes, so, so they I can know. use it. Yes. Okay. Maybe honey buns, mm -hmm. honey donut. Yeah. Yes, at time. That would be really, really yes. nice. That yes. sounds. I'm mm -hmm. actually getting hungry right <laughs> now. So venturing into this business, I'm sure most people they start from honey, they end up into it another organic product. They start mm -hmm. from here, they go there. Do you think, given that you're an entrepreneur and then you bumped into this kind of opportunity, do you think you will maintain the business part of you for a long time? Do you see longevity in it? Yes. Or is it just mm -hmm. a, a test and yeah. try and testing thing? No, it's not a test, try and testing. It's, mm. yeah. I have other plants as well. As time goes on, I will have my own, mm -hmm. you know, hives, mm -hmm. beehives, yes, mm -hmm. my own land. Yeah. yeah. That's the plan. It's not to be buying over there. Yes. Maybe in the next few years. That, that, will, that will be better <laughs> yes. for you. Yes. And I see something here as well. <laughs> You've always liked <laughs> your education and <laughs> your, your things. And this is a, it says Queenie Coats. Yes. That's How amazing lovely. is this? And it has a tiara, a crown <laughs> on it, a pocket of inspired coats. Where do these coats come from? From you or is it from <laughs> the Bible? Is it somewhere? What, what are these coats from? It's a blend. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm inspired by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just sit. I can look at you. You're doing something. I just get an inspiration. And then I use my phone to type it down. Type it down. Yes. Sometimes if I don't do it, I might forget. Sometimes it's uh, the things that people go through, people that are close to me. Sometimes it's what myself, what I've gone through. Yes. I see here something. It says... <laughs> It's number 433, and it says every place you go to makes or deforms you. What does that mean to you? It depends on the place that you are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, you have friends mm -hmm. that are not in line with like good morals. Mm -hmm. You go with them, maybe you want to please them, mm -hmm. and just want to connect with them because probably you've been friends with them for long, and they just want to connect with them, and their behavior, maybe they have changed, mm -hmm. or they're getting worse. Mm -hmm. But you just want to be near them. Mm -hmm. As time goes on, you'll be the form. At times, for example, I went to that program. Yes. I would have said, let me sit down. Mm -hmm. It was a Saturday. Yeah. Let me relax. Mm -hmm. But I attended. Mm -hmm. I attended and it has made me. Yeah. Yes. I see that. <laughs> and this one is really funny. But it's, it's, it's kind of, someone said this before and I heard it. <laughs> and I see it here. I have to read it out to you people. It mm -hmm. says, when you're really mad at your king, go drink some cold water. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody it, said it that cool, it cools you down. Do yeah. you think so? It depends on what kind of king he is. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's about you. It's about at you. that time. Yeah. yeah, it's about you at the time. Yeah. That's true. We're gonna yeah. go for a short break, and when we come back, we'll talk more about Annie. I was gonna say talk to talk more about with Honey, <laughs> with Annie about um, life and her inspirations and a lot more. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the show. I'm still here with the amazing, wonderful Annie. We're talking about her book of quotes. I'm going to talk about this a little bit for like a minute, and we've got, I'm going to, I want to ask her as well a bit about it, honey. Um, Annie, being somebody who's a teacher, you teach, mm -hmm. um, you dedicate your life to give knowledge mm -hmm. to a generation that's going to grow up and be leaders and all. Um, what do you think is the power of what, how powerful are words? Mm. Words are very powerful. Mm. In fact, words are said to be spiritual. It's not about the physical. Yes, it will be physical, mm -hmm. but it also can manifest spiritually. Mm -hmm. Like in a religion mm -hmm. or religious books, I don't know for the Quran, but mm -hmm. I know in the Bible, mm -hmm. like whatever you say, the tongue, the power of the tongue mm -hmm. is the smallest part of the body, mm -hmm. but is the most powerful part mm -hmm. in the book of James. Mm -hmm. uh, you can say something positive mm -hmm. and they can come to pass. Mm -hmm. If you say something negative, it will also come to pass. Mm -hmm. Like in Wolof, they normally say, uh, uh, tongue, mm -hmm. how do you call tongue? Lamming. Lamming, mm -hmm. like a korom, mm -hmm. a kani. Uh, okay. They're for powerful, that. Yeah, that's yes, true. it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some so people it, don't know, but it's very yeah, powerful. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So for, for you, the aim of this little book of the pocket coat, mm -hmm. what, what's the aim for this? It's to inspire young people. Mm -hmm. Especially young ladies okay. like myself. Yeah, there are some things I went through. I don't want others to go through them. Mm -hmm. The bad things, mm -hmm. you know. Some things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like this is my first, but I've already. I'm. I'm done with the second one. Oh, awesome! I'm also writing the third one. Ah, oh, wow! You have a lot to say. <laughs> Probably by next year. Yeah. yeah so where can somebody grab this? Well, actually, you can contact me for now. Okay. Because uh, at first the, at the luncheon, uh, within a month, mm -hmm. hundred. Got finished. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. And how so much I printed you, like 50 more. Huh? How much do you got? It's for? just $100. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's I printed good. more. And I said, now there is a youth trade fair mm -hmm. at Bacau Stadium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I gave it to two of my other queens. Okay. Yes. They decided that I should bring it. So yeah. they have me out. Kumbil Good and Mariama. Yeah, she's awesome. Yes, and Mariama Jamme. Oh, yes. that's good. So, yeah. That's very, very So it's good. with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to skip now and go to the honey. We know that there's a lot of people doing honey yeah. at the supermarkets. You yeah. can find it locally, you can find organic ones. Mm. What sets yours apart from the rest? <laughs> well, as I posted on Facebook, mine is different because it's in a glass, that's mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Unlike the others mm -hmm. whereby it's in bottles already used. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you can have them, mm -hmm. because you can have honey in, in other bottles, mm -hmm. brand bottles, branded and all. Mm -hmm. But I decided to use the glass mm -hmm. because even myself, I don't think I've ever seen it this way. No, me all neither. the ones I've seen is yes. those in plastic. Unless yes. the ones you buy at the supermarket, like the the, yes, the, 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 the brands from yes, the another, yeah. uh, that are Some imported. of them are in plastic as well, yeah. bottle, yeah. Mm -hmm. And also it's a forest honey and it's pure. Mm -hmm. yes. What's the forest honey? Does that mean it's organic? Yes, it's organic, yes. Okay. The bees that are around the forest, mm -hmm. yeah. You awesome. can have them in swamps as well. Oh God, yes. I don't want to have those. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the forest one. I'm yeah. Using it. Okay. On this segment, Annie, is where we say how you inspire um, in your own way. Mm -hmm. So um, obviously, Gambia is a small country, but mm -hmm. we're thriving. We're yeah. getting there slowly yeah. and surely. Mm -hmm. What has been um, the life lessons you've learned so far, being a Gambian? trying to do what you're doing mm -hmm. every day, balancing things, family, life, and <laughs> relationships, all those kind of stuff. What have been the life, lesson, the life lessons that you've learned so far, mm. venturing into business and just becoming a woman? <laughs> mm. But it's not easy. Mm. The road is not always easy. Mm -hmm. Even if without being a woman, mm -hmm. as a human being, mm -hmm. life is not actually easy. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I always see, when I first served in Basse, mm -hmm. I taught some of these kids because most of them, their own idea of what they are thinking of is just to go back way. As young yeah. as grade eight, grade ten, they oh, want to wow. go to back way. So most of the time, after the lesson, I don't motivate them. Mm -hmm. I tell them if I'm going, if I'm traveling, I will drag my suitcase. I I'm not going through back way. Hey, no, no, no! You have to go to back way because wow. they are mentality. So I, I'm, I, I was just like encouraging them that. It's not about the travel. You can even do it here. Of course. Some people have gone, they've made it, they've come back. Mm -hmm. Others have gone, they've never come back. Oh, yeah. Or they come to visit and then go. But I decided that, yes, I've not traveled yet, mm -hmm. per se. I didn't study abroad. Mm -hmm. But I can still make it here. Mm -hmm. In the little way I can. It. You're doing yes. what you're doing. You're doing if your I have part, an opportunity, I can go and then come back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Because 
the importance of somebody like you is you work with a generation that's coming up. Yeah. So, you, like, you influence their thought process. Mm -hmm. You you spend more time with them probably than in the, in the day than they in spend even with their with their yes, parents. Yeah. They become a part of you. Mm -hmm. How do you see this coming generation? How do you how do you see them? Mm -hmm. How do you think they foresee Gambia? Well, there is hope. Mm -hmm. There is hope for them. But even yesterday in my class, I was. I normally advise them, mm -hmm. apart from the normal lessons, mm -hmm. I talk to them and all. I was like, your generation you're enjoying. Mm -hmm. I could remember in yeah. school days, mm -hmm. they would flog us. Yes. I hope they would flog us. I know. But your own generation, we don't have to shout on you. Mm -hmm. We don't have to raise our hands on you. We don't have to beat you up. And I think the discipline is lacking. It's mm -hmm. lacking. Whether in private schools, whether in mission schools, in government schools. Because you don't beat a child. The mm -hmm. only person that can beat a child in school is the head teacher, uh -huh. and he or she has limits. Okay. So, compared to our, our own generation, mm -hmm. we had discipline, mm -hmm. even though some of us were, yeah. <laughs> were wild and all, yes. but we were afraid of certain people. Mm -hmm. But the generation of today, oh, they are not afraid of anything. I think society Few has... Few of them. Yeah, yeah society yeah. has... But there's still hope. To, to <laughs> there's still hope, There's yes. hope, yeah. Um, you inspiring a, um, a whole nation doing your best as teaching and all that is there any other way because we some of us that know you would say that you're a person that have faith <laughs> you're very close to god i think you're, you're a very spiritual person <laughs> tell us your relationship with with god <laughs> i wasn't <laughs> expecting this one <laughs> uh well actually as a young girl growing up mm -hmm. as a teenager mm -hmm. you know teenagers yeah you can fall to temptation and so many other things. True. But I could remember in high school, there's this group that comes in. Was it every Wednesday or Thursday? Scripture Union. Mm. The Scripture Union mm. is a group that works with young people. It's all, it's all around the world, mm -hmm. but the headquarters is in England. Oh. Yes, yeah, so they like motivate young people how to grow closer to God, how to know the Scripture, the Bible, and try to encourage them. Mm -hmm. I could remember one of the motivators or one of the teachers will mm -hmm. come up and then sometimes we dodge. Yes, sometimes we come, but sometimes we we'll dodge, and then he will be looking for us oh, around and around. Bless him. Yes. So there was a time I remembered he, he was motivating us, talking to us like raw. I can say raw. Like as young people, we should not fall into temptation, like having sex out of wedlock, mm -hmm. so many other things, mm -hmm. smoking, drinking. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I could remember he was under the tree around the hall, mm -hmm. at the Gambia High Hall. Oh. And Yes, I, I, mean, I was a teenager, I was falling, but I, I just had this passion for God, even though I was not perfect. Mm -hmm. If I'm saying not perfect, nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. But it was just a rising and falling thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I would go and cry to God, hey, I want to get closer to you, but then I would go back and then look home. Be a kid. Yes, yeah. come back again, you know, go back, see now, come back again. But I decided last year, me, mm -hmm. that. I don't want to be lukewarm because there is a passage in the Bible that God says that uh, if you are lukewarm, he what is lukewarm? Lukewarm, like, uh, <laughs> like when you boil water. Yeah. Yes, and decided to put like tap water. Yeah. It's lukewarm. It's no, what I mean is, what, what's lukewarm in this context of what you're, you're, you're yes, talking that's what about I was in religion? Yes, lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Like, it's either you are hot for God mm -hmm. or you. You are not hot for God. Okay. But you cannot be hot today. You are cold today. You are just in the fence. Okay. Say that he will spit you out. So oh. that thing has been like lingering on my mind over and over. Mm -hmm. So last year I went to a, you know, me and my church programs. <laughs> <laughs> so I just decided that, no, enough is enough. I need to change. I need to be a reformed person. Mm -hmm. So that was last year, me and I've not regretted it. Yeah, thank God. But so many things have come up. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Because there's a saying in all of us, well, Yala soko fate ote, zade fate. Exactly. Yala, then you want to yala the fear. He's jealous. He's jealous. He's jealous. He's jealous. He's jealous. He's jealous. I know you're there. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Then he will yes, be there for course, you as of well. Course, yeah. So I think religion is a part in our life that mm -hmm. is, not everybody is religious, yeah, obviously. Yeah. I even try to be, to, to be, um, as much as possible, mm -hmm. not to be religiously biased or anything, mm -hmm. but because of the kind of special person you are mm -hmm. and how. I know God is special to you. That's why I'm even <laughs> opening up this way to talk about these things. Okay, so I had to give you that 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 part. So, um, with all these things that you're doing, Annie, where do you strike a balance? Just to be Annie, 
Elizabeth Lusak and hang out with your friends mm -hmm. and do things. Be a, you know, a young woman. Yes. How do you strike the balance? Because <laughs> it seems like you never stop. You're always, either you pray, you, 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 you're praying or you're selling or you're teaching. I don't want to believe these are the only three things that you do. Actually, my days are hectic. Oh, I can imagine. I wake up as early as six o'clock, half past six. By quarter past seven, a bus comes up. I Pick need to up. jump in. Sometimes it leaves me. I need to jump in and then wow. I'm in school till half past three. From there, I normally go for extra studies, extra money. <laughs> uh, two hours, one hour. That's around five, six. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go for like church programs, Mondays, Wednesdays. I'm home, eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm dead tired, refresh, ah. I'm back. To bed. bed so it's just a process yeah sometimes it's so fatigue you know you want to give up like i don't want to do that extra thing i know but you, you need have to, to be strong mm -hmm. yes you need to be strong you yeah. have to mm -hmm. you have to it's, it, and it's doing good for you yeah at this juncture you doing the business that you're doing if so many gambians are venturing into creating opportunities for people and stuff mm -hmm. and where we are right now in the country it is so Everything is so confused, Annie. <laughs> Sometimes people are scared of what's going to happen. We're so, the future is clear, it's bright. Mm -hmm. Everything, I'm not going to say everything looks beautiful, but it's promising. Yeah. But there are little glitches here and there that some I think are kind of a bit unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Where do you think this can affect, especially even somebody like you starting up something amazing like this? Little thing can yeah. just throw everything out the window. Okay. So you want, you want me to go into politics as well? <laughs> not exactly Probably. political, but just in a light way. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Mm. But I just have this feeling that nothing will happen. Yeah. Because if it didn't happen in 2016, yeah. 2017, it cannot happen now. Yes. So I just have that peace and rest that. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Others traveled, others disappeared. But I was just in my room, yeah. in my house. Yeah. Normally. Mm -hmm. So I think there is, I don't think people should be scared. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know there are devious people around yeah. trying to instigate, do bad things. Mm -hmm. But... This is a country that loves God, yeah. and God's hand is in this country. Mm -hmm. So whatever they do, whatever they plan, mm -hmm. it will not be successful. Not be successful. At the successful. end, they will be, they will be alike. Mm -hmm. It will not be successful per se. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go into something quite different right now. Mm -hmm. um, what, where you are right now, what would you say to the young Annie, maybe <laughs> 20 or 15 years ago, if you had a chance to... Imagine she's sitting where I am sitting now. Mm -hmm. What would you tell her? Well, I would tell her that uh, in those days, mm -hmm. you didn't love yourself. You were waiting for people mm -hmm. to inspire you. You were waiting for people to say things about you, mm -hmm. whether good or bad. Mm -hmm. You were just sitting there waiting. waiting. Mm -hmm. But to the new Annie, I decided to just love myself. Mm -hmm. And loving yourself is the best. Mm -hmm. Because without loving myself, I cannot give out that love. As, is, as the common say, you cannot give what you don't have. Okay. So if I don't have love for myself, I cannot give it out. Mm -hmm. So the then Annie was timid, nervous, mm -hmm. don't love herself. Mm -hmm. But the present Annie, yes, she's changed. <laughs> you being a very spiritual person, you know that sometimes it's hard to find that place in yourself. Mm -hmm. Even to find that love for yourself within. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you lose yourself. Yeah. It's normal. <laughs> How do you get yourself back to you? Well, of course I'm human, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, there are times that things are hard. Mm -hmm. There are times that you feel the devil banging your head on that wall. Mm -hmm. You feel down. You feel not depressed, mm -hmm. but almost there. Mm -hmm. So what I normally do is I just go to my room. Mm -hmm. I start praising God. Whether, as you said, mm -hmm. I love singing. Yeah. Then it was worldly songs like mm -hmm. Beyonce and others. <laughs> but now in my phone, I don't have any worldly song. All my songs are gospel, worship songs. Mm -hmm. So I just go to my room, my closet, mm -hmm. and then just worship my God. If I want to lie down, I will lie down. If I want to jump, I will just want to <laughs> sleep. I, will sleep. I see you pray if I want to you cry, cry, I cry. I <laughs> yes, so that's one thing that helps in spiritual yeah. growth. Yeah. Okay. It's like you go back to God. Yes, yes you go back to, to find God. yourself. Yeah. That's After true. you are weary, you go back. Yeah. You refresh, you go back. Yeah. <laughs> It's never ending. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Annie, thank you so much. This has been so amazing. I'm so happy that you're here, reconnecting with you thank after you 12 too. years. We should do this more often, <laughs> yes. off the cameras. Yes. Just have a gal chat, you know? For sure. Yeah, and then um, I'm wishing you all the best with everything that you're doing. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of people are looking up to you, whether you know it or not. I'm sure you know. You know, from <laughs> the kids, so. I'm sure, <laughs> at school, yeah. and the people that are becoming to know your business and loving it, falling in love with it, yeah. and all of us, your friends and family, yeah. we're wishing you all the best. Thank and you. we thank you so much for coming yeah, on the show. Mm -hmm. And we hope we have you here again. Yes. And Anytime I'm invited, yes, I'm ready to I can come. invite you every day <laughs> and update us on what you're doing and okay. how far you're going. Okay. Thank you yes, so thank much. Thank you too for inviting me. You're welcome. This Anytime. is an opportunity. I think my first TV interview. That's awesome. I had a radio interview, but this is my first TV interview. I'm honored yes. to be the first to interview her. So nobody's <laughs> going to take you. my place out. <laughs> yeah? Thank you so much, Annie. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. And to you guys watching, thank you so much. Support her. Yeah. Find her products. Buy it. I'm sure you're going to love it and you're going to enjoy it because she's a very genuine person. And her products look very genuine and she spoke um, lovingly about them. So happy trying it. Go and try it, and I'm sure you're going to love it. Thank you so much for being here with us. Until you see you again. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you.